Now this interface looks rather promising and who knows it might become the new standard. There's a group, an alliance actually, of over 50, five zero Chinese companies working on this. It's called GPMI. They could have came up with a better name because the name is General Purpose Media Interface. No, 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 no. You have to rethink that general purpose that can do 192 gigabits per second. And also the same cable can not only carry data, but it can carry 480 watts of power in a cable. Impressive. Now, according to this, the cable will be able to handle 8K resolutions. And of course, 8K is four times the amount of data, basically, over 4K and a lot, a heck of a lot more than 1080p. You can see some of the bandwidth specs right here comparing them. There's apparently a GPMI Type B, which can max out at 192 gigabits per second and can carry 480 watts. There's a Type C that can carry an impressive as well, 96 gigabits per second and 240 watts. How much will this cable cost though? <laughs> now to be fair, Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, well, they carry lots of data, 40 gigabits per second, as well as power. You can see here on the screen how much each of those are, but it's not quite as good as even the type C of the GPMI. Now, while the 480 watts of the GPMI type B isn't enough to power, for example, an RTX 5090 through an 8K display, it offers significant power for many high-end gaming laptops. And this could actually really simplify the setup for users who prefer portable gaming rigs, allowing a single cable for both power and data to an external display. And even more good news with this particular cable would be the fact that GPMI also supports the universal control standard similar to HDMI CES. This means that users could potentially control all their GPMI connected devices with a single remote. So the standard right now, as of April, 2025, is of course USB-C, and that's a great standard. As I mentioned, USB-4 is fast, but this is looking to be even faster and possibly even better, but it's going to take a few years, you know, for companies to possibly adapt this particular GPMI. Will it happen? Who knows, but it certainly is very promising. What do you guys think?